Upper structure triad number two. The two of a seven sharp eleven. In this video, we will show why the major triad built on the two of a seven sharp eleven chord creates a nice voicing for a Lydian flat seven sound. How to think about it and how to practice it. So when will we use a 7 sharp 11 chord? One progression where you will find a 7 sharp 11 is in a flat 7 7 to 1 progression, which is very common in jazz, and is usually preceded by the 4 minor 7. As you can see, the Mappin Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro is playing this flat 7 7 using a Lydian flat 7 voicing. In the key of F, it would be an E flat 7 chord. So let's load the Lydian flat 7 scale into Tessitura Pro and select the major triad as a substructure. We can see there are only two major triads inside of the Lydian flat 7 scale. One on the first degree and the other on the second degree. In C, that would be the C major triad and the D major triad. If we look at the chord tones versus the tensions, the C major triad does not contain any tensions, of course. But the D major triad contains all three tensions. Tension 9, tension sharp 11, and tension 13. And Tessitura Pro is showing no avoid notes. So D is a great upper structure triad to use over C7 to get the Lydian flat 7 sound. Here's a nice exercise to practice this upper structure triad. Let's start with the C7 chord and add the D major triad on the top. Play the root, which is C, on the left hand and the two of the root on the right hand, which is D. And then complete the voicing by playing the guide tones of the seventh chord, which are three and flat seven. So E and B flat in C7. And complete the D major triad in root position on the right hand. Played in all 12 keys, moving the roots around the circle of fifths. Here's our demo. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!